Ernie Conover, and I teach wood turning at Conover Workshops, a school in Parkman, Ohio, that my wife and I run together. Several years ago, when Tetnatool, a company in New Zealand, approached me with the idea of the DVR lathe, I was quite excited, for it offered some advanced technology that heretofore had only been available in jet fighter aircraft. Now we had them in woodworking lathes, and the result was startling. In fact, I was so impressed with this new machine that we decided to put nine of them here as student lathes in our workshops. They have been here operating for about half a decade, and I can assure you students torture lathes in about every way possible, and they have always come back smiling. Therefore, I was even more excited when Nova announced the new DVR XP, which further improves an already great lathe. Let's look at some of these improvements. First of all, we have a new headstock with a new faster microprocessor that gives you much better torque response under 1000 RPMs. Secondly, we now have five preset speeds that you can set much like a radio in your car and simply touch a button and come up with a speed that you use frequently. You can then further adjust that speed up or down in the same way you did on the old lathe uh, with the up and down arrows. The improvement in the new XP starts with a heavier one-piece headstock casting. By making it in one piece, we have uh, a heavier, more rigid casting that dampens vibration. Uh, this goes on with a heavier trapezoidal shaped bed. Vibration in a lathe is directly proportional to stiffness of the material it's made from and inversely proportional to mass. Cast iron has a very nice quality, uh, stiffness-wise, of dampening vibration naturally and is why it's been picked for centuries, really, as a material to build machines out of. Uh, and, of course, adding mass to the lathe naturally uh, dampens vibrations. The next improvement is soft grip handles. They're much more comfortable than the old ones. Uh, on my original DVR, I turned wood handles to go over the uh, metal ones, and they improved the comfort a lot, and these are even better. Uh, won't hurt you, at least you can lean on them. Finally, we have a new tool rest, which is a heavy cast iron tool rest uh, with the correct shape to give you minimum fulcrum distance, whether you are spindle turning or faceplate turning or scraping. You have minimum fulcrum distance, and this is a great improvement. A very nice demonstration of DVR technology is just how vibration-free this machine is. Uh, I'm going to start it up at 250 RPMs here and then ramp up the speeds, which ramp much faster on this uh, new machine than they did on the old. And we're going up, we're at uh, 650 and we're going up uh, right through the speed range. And we're running at 3500 RPMs and nothing moved. Of course, the DVR has always had great indexing features, and it's even improved on the XP. We have a larger window here where we can see the numbers of the index scale come up. And with this pin, we can index in 24 positions. And of course, we can lock the pin up when it's not in use, which would be normal turning. Uh, 24 is a nice number for indexing that is dividable by 2, 4, 6, 8, 12 etc. So it uh, becomes very handy, very easy to use, very sure. As I mentioned uh, earlier, the new DVR XP has an exciting new feature of five pre-programmed memories in it that uh, allow you to select five speeds quickly, much like a push-button radio in your car. Like the original DVR, when you power up the XP, it defaults to speed number two, which is 500 RPMs. This is for your safety. You cannot reprogram this speed to any speed that is higher than 500 RPMs for your safety. To select the other speeds, you push the mode button M and hit down to go to 250 RPMs and up 
to go to speeds two and now three, which would be 750 RPMs, number four, which would be 1020 RPMs, and number five, which would be 1250 RPMs. Uh, if you decided this is a speed that you wanted, you would simply hit P to confirm that, and then hit on to start, and you are rolling at 750. If you want to go to a higher speed, like the original DVR, you simply hit the up keypad and we'll increase that speed, let's say, to 875 RPMs. If we wanted to make this speed number three, we would now hit select and P to confirm it, and this is now speed number three. If we uh, hit our mode thing and go down to number two, and start it, we would be starting at 5. If we hit mode and go back up to number 3, it is 875 as we have now programmed it into what is called EEPROM or E, electronically pro programmable memory. And uh, we confirm that we are now rolling at 875. Talk is cheap, but does it really turn wood, you ask? Let's uh, take a look at how it does on a good, big, heavy piece of green maple here that we just bandsawed out of a, a log. And uh, we laid it out with a set of trammels right here, which gives us the exact center. We drilled a pilot hole for our worm screw right here. And we're going to mount the worm screw in our Titan chuck. And we simply slip it behind the jaws like this and get onto the flats, lock it tight, and we're now ready to uh, chuck up our bowl blank. And we do that by simply putting it over the screw like that, turning it with a hand wheel, and we'll be able to now lock the spindle. Okay, once we have that, we're going to slide this tailstock up with a live center in it and uh, lock it against there. We now have it pinned safely. Let's talk just a second about safety. Uh, things we want to remember about lathes is they're fairly safe. The main danger is too high a speed. So we're going to spit, pick a speed of 500 RPMs, which is our default speed, which is a good state, safe starting speed. And we're going to put uh, all the things that might drop on the floor and thing out of the way. We'll uh, take off watches or rings. Uh, I can't get my wedding ring off or I would take it off. Uh, safety glasses, of course. Uh, side shields, if you uh, want, are not bad uh, to have. And uh, when we first start up the lathe, we're going to stand here out of the way so that if it flies out of the lathe, nothing's going to happen. We see that we have a safe speed, and we could now commence turning. Okay. All right, now let's uh, finalize the base. And I've gone about as far as I can go with the tailstock. Okay? It would be now time to pull the tailstock back out of the way like so. Uh, it's, however, would be hard to get enough access without taking the tailstock tail off the lathe. So a very nice feature of the DVR is the ability to swing the head by taking the blackout bar right here and simply pushing this big screw back here. I can triple lever here and swing that 15 degrees like so, retighten it, and now I have much more favorable access to my bolt than by simply bringing my tool wrist over here like this. I now have complete access. And simply come in. Oops, that's too fast. We'll go down to one of our slower program speeds. There's 500. And we'll come right in there and just nicely drill a hole through the center. 